Hey guys, it's Holly Golightly. Oh my gosh, my false eyelash is out of control. It's Holly Golightly. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a perfume video. <laughs> Obviously. Um, it is another Sephora Favorites perfume sampler video. This is for a travel sampler. If you go on Sephora's website right now, there's only five Sephora favorite sample sets left. One is the deluxe perfume sampler, which is the one that comes with the dabber bottles. It comes with five, 10 dabber bottles or tri travel sizes. Um, unfortunately, that set does not have any fragrances I don't either own or want in it. Um, and then there's four sample sets. Um, two of them are a little bit older. It looks like they're probably from around the holidays. And then two of them are more spring and summer. Um, the one I chose is the one here, the bottom that is, it has like a floral pattern. Anyway, I'll show it to you. Um, it retails for $25. It calls itself a $42 value. Um, it is a limited edition sampler set. They all are limited editions um, just because they do change them so often. So this one, it doesn't have a name, but there's the outer packaging up close. Um, it says, as always, you exchange the voucher that comes with this for a free travel size of the fragrance that you have chosen from this set, um, the Freecher fragrance. In the travel size sets you exchange for travel size scents, um, not full size bottles. Um, so I've already exchanged mine, the instructions and the perfume information is always on the back of the box as well, um, about the scent that's contained in the box as well as the redemption scent. Um, I've already exchanged mine, but I will read to you the information just in case you need a refresher on how the Sephora Favorites perfume samplers work. You find six samples inside this box of some of our most sought after women's fragrances. Choose your favorite and then take the included scent certificate to any U.S. Sephora store to redeem for a travel size of your favorite featured fragrance at no extra cost, which means that you pay $25 for this. I paid, or this re this will retail for I think thirty two dollars. I'm not sure the one that I purchased or chose, um, but it is important to note that these must be redeemed in a freestanding Sephora store, not online, not Sephora Canada, not Sephora inside JC Penney, Sephora U.S. freestanding stores only. That's the biggest caveat here. If you do not have a Sephora that you can get to to exchange, it's not going to be any good for you because you will have a scent certificate that's useless. Sephora online won't help you. They won't send you something. Um, your only option is to keep it until you travel somewhere to where there is a Sephora store. The good news is, is that these scent certificates are redeemable um, at any time. There's no expiration date. Once you've purchased it, it's yours. This particular set looks like this. First of all, Sephora, I want to applaud you on this box. Um, it comes, this comes, ooh, I'm all over the place. This comes with a little sleeve. It's like a little sleeve like this. You take it off. The box is a little tin box. Um, so nice, so reusable. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, you just take it apart and you just can recycle the inside packaging, the plastic. No, actually, I don't think it's recyclable. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but at least you can reuse the tin instead of having to toss it, which I really appreciate because it's trying to reduce our carbon footprints. So inside the tin, this set contains the Chloe Chloe Nomad Eau de Perfume, which redeems for 10 mil travel spray. The Giorgio Armani Aqua di Gio Eau de Parfum, which redeems for a 10 mil rollerball. The Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Eau de Toilette, which redeems for a 10 million travel, 10 mil travel spray. Um, the Taka Stella Eau de Parfum, which redeems for a 10 mil rollerball. The Tory Birch Nuit Azure 
Eau de Parfum, which redeems for a 6 mil rollerball. The Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar Eau de Parfum, which redeems for a 7.5 mil rollerball. So that's the details of this scent sampler. I think it is the best scent sampler that they have right now for the value for the money. Of course, if none of the scents, you know, are you are drawn to them, then it doesn't matter, right? So I'm just going to go over them, each scent, just kind of working my way backwards, starting with the Taka Stella fragrance. The Taka Stella, I'm just reading off of Sephora's website because it's easier that way, is a 10 mil Eau de Parfum roller ball. Looks like that. And the scent is a fresh floral with freesia, lily, and orchid. It is actually a very nice scent. I've tried all of the Taka girls, the scents, um, and Stella, of course, is one of their best sellers because it's a very nice, pleasant fragrance, uh, floral fragrance, which is not, of course, really what I am seeking in a fragrance, but for a lot of people, it will be. Um, and the Rollerball retails for $27, so you do get um, a good value for the money. So next, Flower Bomb Nectar. Oh, it's going to reload itself. <clears throat> the Flower Bomb Nectar 0.75 mil eau de parfum spray is 32 retails for 32 us dollars and flower bomb nectar is described as warm and spicy with warm and sweet gourmand scent of osmanthus orange blossom gunpowder accord uh about a sensual blend of bewitching flowers flower bomb nectar completes the flower bomb collection an eau de parfum intense the flower bomb nectar is a deep variation of the original flower bomb juice with explosive notes of orange flower and tonka bean top notes of bergamot oil black currant bud and living gunpowder notes it's literally in quotations in here living gunpowder notes of mineral smoky metallic and ambery notes bring a fusing and vertical effect it's very horizontal or vertical like it's linear I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Middle tones of orange flower, jasmine, sambac, and osmanthus reveal a base of tonka bean, benzoin, vanilla, and patchouli. So that is the flower bomb nectar. $32, really good. Even though it is a smaller travel size, it is a perfume intense, which means it's a stronger scent. You do not need nearly as much as even a regular eau de perfume to, um, to, get a good uh scent base this um let's see what it says if it let's see if it says doesn't really say darn it um but in general it sh would have a um a deeper scent concentrate than a regular eau de parfum i got it. obviously that's what i chose because i'm waving it around but i'll go into why when i'm done <laughs> Ha! Huh. So much fun, you guys. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. It has been a week, let me tell you. But I wanted to do this video so I could put these away because I have another video <laughs> that I've been promising. And then I have a an interesting, a more interesting kind of perfume video. It's like a perfume apology video that I want to do. The next scent is the Tory Burch um, Nuit Azure. So the rollerball is a six mil rollerball. It retails for 30 US dollars. It is a floral, classic floral with keynotes of fig, freesia, cedarwood heart, and patchouli heart. Fragrance description, Tory, bleh, Tory Birch Nuit, Nuit Tw Tory Birch Nuit Azure captures the allure of the Mediterranean after dusk. Channeling the impulsive sens sensuality of a starlit swim. Ooh. It is a fresh, woody floral fragrance that transports you to the warm air and gentle breezes of perfect escape. Like a bouquet of night blooming flowers stirred by a coastline breeze, crisp violet leaf and salty fig are illuminated by Sicilian mandarin. Pink peony, freesia, intoxicating orange flower, and exotic jasmine sambac evoke visions of moonlight on water, luxurious patchouli 
patchouli, what was that, and vetiver reveal themselves wrapped in the warmth of cedarwood and glamorous musk, waking the senses for a late summer swim in the sea, made for evenings spent by the water. So I assume that if you did wear this as directed, an evening spent by the water, you probably would get a really nice effect. Just saying, it's a possibility. So next, we have Sephora, or Sephora, Chloe Nomad Eau de Parfum. This one was a real, this one really, mm, I really wanted this. But the thing is, I decided that I wanted this in a standard size bottle and not a travel spray, which I don't feel that way about the Flower Bomb Nectar. That was the biggest factor in my decision between this particular scent and the Flower Bomb. Sorry, guys. Ugh, my hair shedding super bad. I just washed it the other night. Um, so the Chloe Nomad Eau de Parfum is a 10 ml perfume travel spray. It retails for 30 US dollars. Looks like that. The scent is a floral, a warm floral with a sense of key, mo huh, key notes of oak moss, freesia, and mirabelle liqueur. Um... The intense mineral character of oak moss is enveloped in the voluptuous softness of mirabelle plum. From this freshness emanates a bright floral note carried by freesia. Natural ingredients brought into focus by perfumer Quentin Bish. Bish. Revealing accords as exhilarating as the feeling of the escape they inspire. It's actually a really beautiful scent. I have been more and more impressed by Chloe's releases, the brand releases. Um... As they have gone on, the first few, like, I didn't really love. Um, Roses to Chloe and the other one. But I did come to really like the original Chloe signature. Um, and I really, really like this scent, the Nomad. So another, at $30, another really good value for your money. Then we have Aqua Digia by Giorgio Armani. Um... Aqua di Gio is like a quintessential summer scent. And so also it is a very popular signature fragrance. So for a lot of people who like lighter, fresher scents, this is um, really appealing to them, especially if heavier scents cause um, headaches or reactions. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that is why you will see scents like uh, Aqua di Gio, um, light blue, for summer. Um, and then in like the winter boxes, there are often things like the Elizabeth and James scents that are repeated that you see them often. Not only are they best sellers, but they're also very easy for most people to wear. So they're guaranteed like hit. <coughs> Excuse me. Aqua di Gioa retails for 10 mil out apart from travel spray. Um, and it is 24 US dollars. Um, so it's not quite as good of a value, but it's still, you're not really like losing out on anything. The value's still there. Hmm. Oh my goodness. My throat is tickly. The, it's a fresh aquatic with keynotes of cedar, jasmine, and lemon. Very easy to wear. Um, very, common, um, nothing strange, nothing unexpected is happening here. The fragrance's top notes rise like a soft sea breeze, bringing forward a central blend of cool mint, warm brown sugar, and the zest of Italian lemon. Next, the heart notes emerge with beautiful floral hints of jasmine, dew of peony, and traces of pink pepper. The base lingers on a uniquely Mediterranean tail of cedarwood and the complex herbaceous accords of labdanum. That's interesting. I didn't know labdanum was in this one. <coughs> That does ground it a little bit, make it a little bit more depth. Um, so that's interesting. That does impress me. I am impressed, I will say. And then the last scent that is included in the uh, the set, this set is Marc Jacobs' Daisy Love. Now, if you've watched our videos, if you have watched, now, like, <laughs> 
like ready to do a lecture. Like I'm going to lecture you. If you've watched other videos of mine about the Marc Jacobs Daisy fragrance family, you will know that Marc Jacobs Daisy scents, as well as just the Marc Jacobs fragrances in general, do not agree with me. I was very surprised to find that Daisy Love is the exception to that rule that I actually quite enjoyed Marc Jacobs Daisy Love. It is a 10 ml eau de toilette pen spray. So it's got a teeny little cap. It's not a big cap. Um, it is 27 US dollars. So also above selling price for the set. Um, I was quite surprised by how much I enjoyed it. It is a warm floral with the set of crystallized cloudberries. I don't know what that is. Daisy tree petals. That can't be a real thing. <laughs> Cashmere musks and driftwood. Sounds like a lot of chemical chords to me. <clears throat> but addictive and irresistible daisy love fills the air with the contagious love of life created by master perfumer alberto morias this gourmand radiant fragrance reveals its first notes in the vibrant burst of sweet cloudberries i've never heard of that before but it could be a real thing Delicate daisy tree petals mingle with sparkling cashmere musk and driftwood to create a long-lasting and memorable gourmand twist. An ode to the Marc Jacobs iconic daisy, Daisy Love, blooms with an oversized daisy that reflects the warm glow of the juice. So they're talking about the fleck on the bottle in that particular case. There's not like a huge daisy in the bottle or anything like that. It sounds like a lot of... Um, um, like a lot of... I already said it, whatever I said before, it sounds like that. Because I don't know what a daisy tree is. Uh, it could be a thing. It could honestly be a thing. But cashmere musk is like uh, definitely an accord because it's, I guess, I mean, I guess you could get the actual scent of like the cashmere goat fur. That's probably pretty musky. Not probably what they want in here. Anyway, I'm not going to go on about this anymore. Let's talk about the scents themselves and why... I chose the way I chose and what you might want to consider if you decide to buy this set. It's nighttime. Sorry, that's why the yay lighting is awful. But since I'm not showing anything for spectacular, I figured it'd be okay. So it looks like this inside the bottle. This is actually the order that they came in, I think. Maybe maybe it's not anymore. But you get the Aqua Di Gioa and the Flower Bomb Nectar, or the little ones down here. And then... Um, in the middle, there's the other ones. Who cares? What am I talking about? Okay, let's get those out of there. Anyway, so I was pleasantly surprised, actually, because when I went, when I ordered this, I was expecting to want to purchase the Tory Burch Nuit Azure. That was what I had purchased this for. <clears throat> I wanted to also get a closer sniff of the uh, flower bomb nectar because the gunpowder cord really intrigued me because yeah um I love things like that like metal um very skin scents animalistic scents things that are not really traditional and the gunpowder with the floral seemed really interesting especially since it was a nectar and that doesn't seem like a very nectary type of accord. Um, and you know how I feel about the original flower bomb. Like I have a real love hate with it. So I definitely wanted to get my hands on a sample of that. Um, I have never had a sample of that. I'd only sprayed it on the store, but I was expecting to be most surprised or most interested in the Tory Burch Nuit Azure. Unfortunately, this was actually this and the Aqua Di Gioa were probably my two least favorites. The reason that I chose against Nuit Azure is because the Belle Azure, which I own in a 30 ml flacon, it smells the same to me. I don't distinguish enough of a difference between those two scents to make purchasing this worthwhile. Um, I do understand that this is supposed to be the nighttime, whereas that is the daytime. Um, but honestly, other than maybe some additional floral scents and less citrus, it's not a huge difference. And I didn't find myself falling in love with it. 
Aqua di Gioa is a beautiful scent. Again, like I said, it's a very easy scent to wear, but for the money, I'm just not interested in it. <clears throat> the Taka Stella scent is also a beautiful scent, but it is another very easy to wear scent. Um, to me, the Taka fragrances are a little bit overpriced for the quality, in my opinion. Um, I do feel that even though they are Eau de Parfum, I think, yeah, they are Eau de Parfum. I don't, haven't found one except for Margo, which was discontinued. I haven't found one that actually um, lasts or projects very far on the skin, which if you are looking for a floral that hangs tightly to your skin, that's a different thing entirely. But because I wear perfume as an accessory, um, I wear perfume for other people to notice um, as much as, you know, they should. <laughs> I try not to like hit people over the head with it. But to me, the projection and the just the quality of the scent is not worth investing in. It's it's not. I get the Taka sets every year at Christmas time, and I have so many travels of these different Stella, Cleopatra, Florence. Florence is my favorite. Um, I just don't need to, to get another one. So that's that's why. So that was when my choice really came down to these three. It was the Flower Bomb Nectar, the Chloe Nomad, which I was super surprised, and I was really even more surprised about the Daisy Love. <sighs> I ended up going to putting out of commission Daisy Love um, just because my history with the brand hasn't been that great. Um, and there was a couple of other fragrances that I thought I liked. I had Marc Jacobs Decadence um, in a travel size and I liked it on first application, but as it dried down, it was very un uncomfortable and I don't wear it ever. I think I gave it away actually. Um, and I didn't want the same thing to happen with this when I could have purchased another scent of more um, useful to me. So I did decide to not go with Daisy Love at this time. There may be a time in the future where I do pick that scent up. Um, but that was why. So now it came down to um, the Chloe Nomad and Flower Bomb Nectar. Like I said, the actual defining choice was the fact that I want to get a full size of the Chloe Nomad, um, a full standard size, not just a travel size. This is a really, really nice fragrance and I really like it. I like it. I actually like it more than Flower Bomb Nectar, which is why, of course, I chose not to put it into my sampler. Instead, I'm going to wait and invest in a bottle. And then... Oh, it's so nice. It's like a really sexy woman. I really like it. And then I decided to go with the Flower Bomb Nectar. The Flower Bomb Nectar quite surprised me because one, it is so strong. It is so strong. It will knock you off your feet. If you are not careful, knock your socks off. This is not a workplace perfume. This is not a workplace friendly perfume. Also, I was immediately surprised by how clear and how strong the gunpowder notes come through. So that kind of smoky, metallic, animalistic note that they're talking about being vertical, it really does. It just like slushes through everything. It's like candy floss and then immediately it's like somebody fired a gun. Like you're, you're at a fair and somebody fired a gun. It's so intriguing. It's so interesting. It's not really like anything I've ever smelled from a mainstream fragrance house before. But it's very strong and it's still very sweet. Being a flower bomb scent, it is extremely true to that fam like that family of scents. The rollerball looks like this. It is a travel spray. And you have to be so careful because a little goes a long way, a long way. <clears throat> I wouldn't ever need more probably than a rollerball of this ever. And it's not inexpensive either. So, but man, if you're looking for something, if you like sweet fragrances and you're looking for something different, 
this is really good. And this is a really good value. This whole set is a really good value for the price. Um, they're all, I think, $25, but the higher, this set has a quite a few higher value um, fragrances in it. And it really, not only that, but it has quite a few that are extremely nice choices just in general for the season and also just to add to your perfume collection. If you're not interested in obtaining a lot of large size bottles of perfume, but you do want a wider fragrance collection, really look into these Sephora perfume samplers um, for the travel sizes because you can get a lot of really nice scents popular scents, new scents, mainstream scents, um, and then sometimes something you don't expect for a good price. Like $25 is not a bad price for perfume. So anyway, that is my take on this Sephora sampler set and the, um, the Flower Bomb Nectar rollerball that I got with this. So it's like cotton candy and gunpowder. It does. It's really crazy. So yeah, if you like, let me know, give me a comment or a like, um, if you have any questions, if there's anything that you wanted to know, but I didn't cover, just let me know in the comments and I will reply to them. Um, I'm always trying to think of what is most helpful for you to know about these sets before you decide to purchase them for yourself. So please let me know if there's anything I missed and otherwise I'll see you on the next one. Bye.